Um, so we're out at El Toro testing for X Game 17. This is the 2011 Ford Fiesta Rallycross car. This is actually Deegan's car. We're both in the same Rockstar family, so I think it's probably okay if I take a peek in the General's machine here. Um, very different from the street car, but in in Europe, this size car is actually raced a lot because because uh, over there, like a two liter car is kind of like a high performance car. They have 1.1 liter, 1.3 liter cars. And if you get the two liter version, you got the sports car. And so they see a lot of race versions of those, what we would consider compact cars. We're one of the last countries really to hold out and to not race um, really small cars. But around the rest of the world, rally cars are, you know, these tiny things and they're, they're built up quite a bit. So this is a very built up version of the Fiesta. It's got Close to 600 horsepower, like 575 horsepower, goes zero to 60 in two seconds, all wheel drive. Um, I have talked a lot about this car and it is really, really ridiculous. It's just a vicious car to drive. Deegan has his setup very similar to mine. Uh, you can see the shifter is right here. So um, you actually can just stay full throttle uh, on this thing. You just leave it flat like that and then just grab gears. Bah, bah, bah. Uh, Deacon probably likes it because he he shifts so fast. He's like a uh, you know from his dirt biking. Then like a drift car, you've got a ginormous handbrake. Except this is an all-wheel drive car, so it does two jobs. One, disconnects the differential mechanically just from slowing the back tires. Disconnects the center differential so the back tires can stop. Then it stops them, and it makes a short wheelbase car like the Fiesta whip around so fast it's unbelievable. But let's take a look around the outside a little bit. That's the business end, that's the office. If you look around, you see kind of these vents here. Um, that is to feed the radiator, which is back here. Uh, something that's not like the, uh, the street version. Got a big giant fan on there. This is where they fuel the cars. And uh, having the radiator in the back actually serves two purposes. One, gives you better weight distribution by spreading that weight out in the back. And two, when you're chasing other cars in rallycross and you're like, you know, bumper to bumper with them, um, having the radiator in the back uh, prevents it from getting all clogged up with dirt and mud and stuff so it doesn't overheat. Cruise around a little bit. Look in the passenger door, there's actually a seat in here, which is kind of abnormal, but uh, we're doing the media day out here for Ford and Rockstar and so uh, we're giving ride alongs in these things, which is awesome actually because I, I babble on and on about how fast these things are and you never get to actually show somebody. So it's a great opportunity today to show people how quick it is. Take a look in here, maybe go a little bit out of focus, a little out of focus. No, it's uh, I'm just kidding. It's a, uh, it's based on the Durotech. Mountain is the tuner and Oldsburg's actually builds a lot of the engine themselves. Um, but it's a really an incredible platform makes, 50 pounds of boost and uh, runs a Garrett turbo at that pressure and making that much power out of a two liter engine is just awesome. Now the intercooler is up front, but if you look close, you can see that the intercooler actually has a guard over it. It's a very oversized intercooler, but it has this guard over it uh, to keep rocks and things like that from basically taking all of your uh, boost away and clogging the intercooler, making it ineffective. So that is the Rockstar Ford Fiesta Rallycross car, probably the wickedest, fastest little car I've ever driven. <laughs>